Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Dark Souls, and welcome to Solo Quest. Okay, so for, uh, for anybody who missed the last episode, James and I have officially finished our run of side quest, our, uh, Dark Souls journey. I'm gonna turn the audio up a little bit so I can hear a bit better. Pardon me. So anyway, I'm, I'm not gonna charge forward while I'm trying to talk. Uh, we finished our journey into Dark Souls, we finished our side quest, uh, we just kind of came to the realization that we were able to get together to play games way too infrequently to be able to do this, and we kind of talked about a lot of the big things we wanted to talk about anyway, so we decided to just go ahead and call it, start making other videos on Extra Play, plant talking about other games, that kind of thing. But I'm still gonna play Dark Souls. Like, I'm gonna finish this game. I am determined. And I want to play Dark Souls 2, and I want to play Dark Souls 3 when it comes out. So, yeah, I'm finishing this. And you guys made it pretty clear at the end of that last episode that you wanted me to keep recording this. So I'm gonna keep recording this. And we are gonna keep on going, and we are going to finish this game. Now, some things you guys should know as we do this. Since James is not here, the commentary on these videos is going to become far less design-focused. And there's gonna be far less analysis, if any. This, really, from this point on, this is just about me finishing Dark Souls. If I observe anything cool, great, but, uh... This is much more standard Let's Play now than the series has been up until this point. So... You guys should know that up front. If you are coming here for further cool game design analysis, probably not gonna get much from me. I'm gonna be way too busy getting murdered. Over and over and making stupid mistakes and playing Dark Souls badly. This is very cool and intimidating. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So I apologize that the commentary will not be nearly as interesting, and that I'll probably... Demon Ruins. Wow. Nothing about that sounds good. And I apologize that <laughs> everything I say is not going to be nearly so interesting as stuff was before. But if you guys are enjoying, uh analysis and design commentary and that sort of thing, may I point you to our guest play episodes. Uh, like our Bastion episodes that we've been putting up, and our Tomb Raider episodes. We've got Dan Emmons and Josh Foreman offering all kinds of really awesome analysis and, uh, just talking shop in general and giving advice for, uh, new game devs. All kinds of really cool stuff, so you guys should definitely check that out if you're wanting more of what side quest has been up until this point with people from a variety of different disciplines. But if you're just wanting to see me finish Dark Souls, welcome. That's what we're doing. Yes. I do love these. Alright. I'm gonna rest. Might as well. I have a lot of souls too. I wonder if I should... Should spend this on something. So, you guys may not have seen what my stats are currently. I'm level 50, which I imagine is way too high level for where I am in the game, but what can I say? I don't want to die over and over. That'll still happen, but I want to die less, so I'm gonna go with Vitality, because... sure. Alright. What are these fellows? Alright, so these are more the things that were outside of the last boss's area. And they don't seem aggressive, so I'm not going to push my luck. It's a very cool area. And that is definitely an area I can get to eventually. That whole place further away. Hmm. I hopefully won't be too rusty going back into this. It has been a couple months since James and I recorded that last session. I've been kind of waiting for the episodes to come out and for us to get to the end and to see if you guys wanted me to keep recording this because I didn't want to just start like playing ahead before you, eh, before uh, knowing whether you guys, you want, before knowing whether you guys wanted me to record more or not, basically. Oop. I need to change my shield. I just realized you guys alerted me that uh, <laughs> this shield cannot be repaired apparently. And I'm not good at hitting these guys, also, apparently. Hmm.
Come on. Yuck. Everything about this is gross. I don't like a bit of it. And I can't hit them very well either. Let's try that. Let's try it again. Ugh. Okay, this is... going less well than I hoped. I may be a little rusty. Hopefully not too bad. All of you die. The rest of you die. Yes. Meh. Okay, I think that's all of them. Oof. Those are the worst. Okay. Kind of figured I would have been heading back upward or something after this long descent, but, uh, nope. The Dark Souls, you just keep going down. Am I safe? Is anyone gonna attack me? Alright, let's see what other shields I have on me. Let me see. So. Crystal shield, which is pretty great, but hardly permanent. Eagle shield, which seems pretty good, a little heavier. Might have to go with that, but um... Hollow soldier shield. Actually, that may be better, but let's look at descriptions. I've not been doing that enough. So, good stability on the eagle shield. Better magic and fire and all that defense to- well, not fire, but... Hmm. Alright, well, let's equip this one, and then... no, ugh. Buttons. Okay, let's equip that, and then compare... Hmm... We're in a very fiery area. You know what? Let's equip the Hollow Soldier Shield, and, uh... See, the nice thing is, now... Now, like, now that James isn't here, I basically have to rely on you guys. Maybe the Tower Kite Shield is still better. You know? It might be. Let's just... whatever, let's stick with it. Tower Kite Shield it is. So, now that James isn't here with me, you guys are basically all the help I have. Because this is still going to be a blind playthrough, I'm not going to be looking stuff up. I mean, unless I get really stuck, then I might. But I'm going to try to keep this as blind a playthrough as possible, so... Going to be counting on you guys to let me know if I'm making some huge mistakes. Hmm. Something looks very dangerous. And moving up there. And this doesn't feel promising. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Hmm. So I put up a poll on Twitter today asking side quest viewers whether I should head up to Sen's Fortress, I'm told is what it's called, the place with the door I just opened by beating that last boss, or if I should be heading back to that uh, forest. I think it's Dark Root Garden. I can't remember the name exactly, but. Uh, I didn't spend a lot of time there, and I do get the feeling that there's a lot more there that I have not explored. And you guys voted by a very narrow margin, it was very close, that I should head to the garden first. So I'm probably gonna do that once I'm done down here with whatever is down here. Well, guess we're headed this way. Wow. You know, and yet, as large a space as this is, not nearly as much frame rate trouble as Blight Town. Horrible place that was. Not planning to go back there if I can avoid it. All right. Forward through the mist. This is a very cool area, and we haven't gotten a lot of areas that are really rich in red and orange colors yet, so... Nice change of palette. Nice lack of enemies, too, for the most part. Nice and relaxing. Good for getting my bearings back. Hmm... 
That big, scary, tentacly movie thing. Ah, there it is. Wow, I do not want to tangle with that. Can I go around this way? Does it leave me somewhere different? I'm guessing no. Looks like it's taking me... Yep, same place. Wow, that is... unsettling. This looks just like another boss. Surely they wouldn't make me deal with two bosses in a row. Whew. Don't like this at all. What is even going on with this thing? Like, it's hard figuring out, like, what its form is. Like, what this creature is. Like, what this whole huge tangly mass is. Is that its face? Whew, that is unsettling. Super cool looking, but... Boy, what's this over here? I'm gonna keep an eye on you. Don't hit me. You look like the sort of thing that could one-shot me. Alright, this may be nothing. This may just be a broken pillar. Yep, it's a broken pillar. That's okay. Jeez. It doesn't get any more comforting to look at. Still... Still don't like it. Maybe... If I just kind of run, it'll leave me be. Don't mind me, I'm going this way. Ooh, item. Hmm. Whoa! -ho. Craft. Okay. It's offended. <laughs> Ceaseless discharge. Everything about that sounds terrible. <laughs> Oh, wow. Yeah, whatever, I'll stick around, I'll fight you. What are you gonna do? <laughs> oh gosh. I am dead. I am dead. I am so dead. Ooh, maybe I can hit you. Maybe I can hit you. Okay, I can hit you. This isn't so bad. This isn't so bad. I can take you. I can take you. As long as you don't do anything to surprise me. Jeez! Okay. <laughs> well... The important thing is, I stole its armor, so... In the end, it's like a victory. Not gonna go back and fight that. I'm, uh... <laughs> at least not now. Maybe someday. Someday I'll come back for you. Anywho... Let's head backward. In fact, let's head... All the way backward. I wonder if there's anything... Is there... Can I use Homeless Bones to, uh... I wonder... It's not Homeless Bones. What's it called? Homeward Bone... Hey, that's it. Okay. Homeless Bones. Good grief. Uh... Returns to last bonfire used for resting. Okay, so... Less useful from here. But I'm gonna start heading my way back. Back up... Toward... Dark Root Garden Basin, I forget the name, and Sen's Fortress, and all that other stuff. And I'm not gonna make you guys watch, so, uh, see you guys off the- is this an elevator? That would be great. Nope. Not an elevator. Illusory wall? Okay. Alright, well I'm not gonna leave yet, then. What's this? You just gonna let me walk by? I can talk to you. Oh dear. What have we here? Are you a new servant? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Like, what's the right answer? Mm. But you have no eggs. Ha! No matter. Go along and have audience with our fair lady. I pray that you will mind your manners. Fair lady. Just fought one of those, kind of. 
What? I thought I dealt with you. Mind if I use this? <laughs> I feel like I'm asking to use her bathroom. Thank you. So... Alright, well she looks a bit- she looks the same. Like, different colors, obviously. But... Yeah, I, that's what I was... What? Reinforce Estes Flask. Can I? Okay, I can't. Huh. I know there's some connection between, like, the Firekeeper Souls or whatever. Some of the specific, uh, bonfires I've been using that are... ...already reinforced. And specific characters I talked to that can do this. Like, there was a one... Uh, there was the lady up at Firelink Shrine. The one who can't talk. Who gave me this option last time. She didn't offer me the chance to enter a covenant, though. kind of feel uncertain about entering a covenant with weird spider lady who looks very similar to one who just tried to kill me. Maybe I'll just talk to you. Informative. You mind if I leave? I'm gonna leave. It's kind of pretty, though. The music's very lovely. Yeah, it's like, it is like this is all very beautiful in a grotesque way. Is this a cool shortcut? Do you have a cool shortcut in your house? Bet you do. Oh. Well. <laughs> it really seems like the kind of thing that should be a cool shortcut. Okay, fine. Well, going back then. I guess I'm going all the way back. I don't have another Firekeeper soul or whatever the, uh... Thing is, I need to trade to reinforce my Estes flasks again. So, man, it's like I don't think I do. Hmm. Nope. 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 Soul of Quilag, but nope. Quilag. 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 How do you pronounce that? I don't know. I'll have to learn that eventually. Reinforce dragon weapons. It's kind of cool. Okay, I, I am going to be... When I get back up to the surface, or close enough to the surface, we are going to go through my items, and we are going to read some descriptions already, because I have been neglecting that. But let's get out of this weird, scary, whole pit area first, huh? place again. This place sucks. Mine. Great club. <laughs> it better be. Ah! <laughs> no, don't kill me. Are they still chasing me? Yep, 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 yep. Ow! Okay, leave, 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 leave. Okay, 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 okay. I hate the guys with the rocks. Hate the guys with the rocks. Hate the guys with the rocks. Hate the bugs, too, but mostly hate the guys with the rocks. Excuse me. Still stressful. This whole... stupid place. We are gonna get home alive. Oop. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. This is new. I took a wrong turn and found items. Ho oh, ho! Cool looking ones. Ah, bugs. 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 Tell me that's not a mimic. <laughs> okay. I haven't learned to, uh... You know, that sorcery is probably useful. Remedy? I bet that... Maybe that handles that toxicity problem. Yeah. Don't like it. Don't like it. Oh, you. You horrible, horrible... blow dart thing. Nothing but hatred. Pure hatred for everything these guys are. I'm just running. Just running. Just running. Oh, no. 
You die. You, all your friends, die. Ah. Are you kidding me? That is frustrating. <laughs> okay. Ooh, boy. Okay, this episode is apparently just going to be about me getting out of this hellhole. Alright, I've switched gear because apparently this gold hem garb thing I picked up has some poison resistance or toxic resistance. I don't know if it'll actually resist the things that have been killing me in Blight Town, but frankly, when you look this good, who cares? Alright, take two. Screw you, Blight Town. Screw you and your poison. And you're toxic, and you're too dark to see. Ooh, well, don't screw that. That part's- Oh, jeez. Okay. <laughs> screw your little bugs that look like big bugs when they appear right close to camera. Screw your guys who throw rocks. Screw your toxic effects that look identical to poison effects, but boy are they not the same thing. Screw your frame rate issues. Screw your bugs. Did I mention the bugs? You know, the worst part is, I bet there's some faster way up back out of Blight Town that I have not thought of. Or that I just didn't see. Okay. I, I bet that route exists. And I just have not found it. Uh, no. 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 Nope. I'm done. I'm out. I'm leaving. Ah, uh, never thought I'd miss you guys. I am really digging this armor set. I, it's probably not something I'll stick with. It's probably not got the defense I need. Nothing like running around looking like the specter of death to make you feel at least a little more powerful in a place that wants so very much to kill you. Ah, uh, there's two of them. That's right. Yeesh. Okay. 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 Okay, yep, 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 that's what's happening. Okay, you know what? Forget it. Uh, you know what, there has to be some other route to get back. Or some other place that this connects to. This can't just be... I mean, maybe it is, but... I'm gonna death. Hint? Huh. But... It feels like this can't just be a dead end down here. And maybe it is. But I think I might run around a little bit more just to see if I can find something else down here. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this first episode of Solo Quest. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>